Hi everyone, how are you? I hope you're totally amazing and wow, and I hope that today's a good day for you. So I'm going to be doing like a mini book haul. Um, well, I guess it's kind of like the normal amount of books I have, I don't know. But first, I want to show you this cool cup I have. Look, it's a Doctor Who cup. And whenever you put something hot in it, the TARDIS disappears. So right now it has hot chocolate in it. And over here, the TARDIS was just idly <laughs> there as like, um, you know, like a phone booth. And can you still see it? Um, well, you probably can't see it, but it's still kind of disappearing because I just put the hot chocolate in it. And if you turn the other side, it's really cool. There's a TARDIS in space, time traveling. <laughs> If you don't know who Doctor Who is, I don't know what to say. <laughs> so, yeah, you have to check out Doctor Who. Doctor Who is, like, my favorite show ever. And um, David Tennant, obviously, is my favorite doctor. But he's not the doctor anymore. So sad. But, yeah, that's my Doctor Who. And over here it says Doctor Who. And I don't know. I just think it's so cool. And um, when it gets cool again, um, the TARDIS goes back to being over here. I was like, magic tricks. So yeah, I got this cup from Barnes and Noble. Um, they had like a display like a few months ago of Doctor Who. <laughs> so I was like, oh, what? And so yeah, I got the cup. And I will try to put the product number in the description because you, if you want it, you probably have to like order it. And I don't know if you guys know, but. Whenever I do my book hauls, I always put the ISBN, num ISBN numbers in the description so that if you want my version, you can get it. So I only have four books, but let's get into it. The first book I have here, and I bought all these books last night, like right before the store closed. <laughs> the first book I have here is Looking for Alaska by John Green. And I've never read this book. And I know some people like, oh, how could you know book? But yeah, I've never read it at all. But I'm tired of my friend telling me that I need to read it. So I just decided, you know what, let me go and get this book. And from what, I don't know, of course, I don't really know what it's about. <laughs> but I think it's this boy that goes to this um, private school and he meets this girl, Alaska. And I guess they fall in love. <laughs> That's all I know so far. So it's Looking for Alaska by John Green. Yay, I'm excited. And the next book I have is Across the Universe by Beth Rebase. And this is uh, the first book. It's part of the trilogy. The second book is out already. I saw it on the shelf. I was like, oh, man, i got to catch up. And the second book is called A Million Suns. Um, this book... I'm not so sure, sure, sure why, but for some reason, um, the girl is leaving her hometown, her home planet, actually, to go to another planet to join her parents. Her parents are already there, and to join her uh, parents on this planet. I'm not sure if maybe she's, like, chosen to do this, because I'm kind of like, why is she doing this? Um, and they're... They were supposed to land, like, you know, at a certain time, a certain year and stuff, but their um, landing on this new planet has been messed up, and it was because someone was trying to kill her. And so that's why everything is, like, all whacked out, and they're like, what the heck? You know, they're, like, arriving way too early and all this kind of stuff. And um, then the people on the ship have, like, surrendered to... The eldest, first, I don't know where he came from, but they surrendered to him. And so the girl, her name is Amy. Amy and eldest's son, Elder, are trying to, like, bond together to do something. <laughs> so, yeah, I got Across the Universe. Really excited to read it. And then the third book I got is The Farm by Emery McKay. I think this book is new. On the shelf, it had, like, so many copies. I was like, what the heck is this? So I just, like, grabbed it because I had to run out so fast the store was closing. And apparently, just from me reading the back, what it's about is that um, they kind of, like, count their time before the vampires came and after the vampires. 
and um, the vampires have like basically taken over their like world, and they have these farms where um, you know people go, um, young people go, and they're kind of like, I guess, kept there so that they can like feed the vampire. Their blood is used for the for the vampire, so that's how the vampire is able to eat. Um, and the girl is there with her sister. And they're tr and then they like meet up with some other guy, and they're gonna try to I guess revolt. I think that's what it's about. Um, I want to read this back part to you real fast. And okay, <laughs> so life was different in the before. Before vampires began devouring humans in a swamp across America. Before the surviving young people were rounded up and quarantined. These days we know what those quarantines are, holding pens where human blood is turned into more food for the undead monsters, known as ticks. Surrounded by electrical fences, most kids try to survive the farms by turning on each other. And when trust is a thing of the past, escape is nearly impossible. Hey! <laughs> so yeah, that's what it's about. Um, I didn't read the whole back, but I just read that part, because when I read that, I was like, whoa! And yeah, and on the cover it says escape is the only the beginning, and then there's a um, little quote here: equal parts Resident Evil and Hunger Games, just as thrilling. Excited! <laughs> and then I have one more book that I actually purchased on my Nook, and I have this Nook, and I like rarely read anything on it. I need to start buying more books on here, so in the future I probably would have a book haul with just books that I bought on my Nook. I actually do like reading on it, but I guess I'm so used to the physical copy that, you know, I just don't buy anything. But this one is a classic, and it's The War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells. Not too sure, of course, what this is about, but I think it's like a Martian invasion. I didn't see the movie or anything, so I'm lost. <laughs> but, yeah, I think it's a Martian invasion. And it's just how everybody drew acting to this alien invasion. And, of course, it's going to be chaos and it's going to be crazy. So I really hope it's really good because it's a classic. So, But I've noticed that not all classics are good. But let's hope this one is. And those are my mini book haul that I have, the books that I just recently purchased yesterday. And I'm planning to do another book haul. I may do two more this month. And after that, I have to stop. And if you want to go on a, like, stop buying books with me, we could do it together. We can make it together. <laughs> and we won't buy books until, like, February. <laughs> so we'll, like, have one month of not buying books. Like, I don't know if I can make something like that. But I'm going to try because I, I keep buying these books, but I don't ha I'm, like, buying more than I'm reading. If that makes any sense. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you bought any books recently, tell me what books you bought. And also, what book are you reading now? And what books should I buy that you think would be cool for me to read? See you later. Bye-bye.